right, it's Friday, March 1st, 2013, and it's time for the next Insta vlog. Last Insta vlog, I introduced you to the concept of the spiritual universe and the 5,000 years of history in which it was believed in, and how quantum mechanics has sort of brought this back in again with the existence of parallel universes. Uh, this is sort of the new, uni the, the new theories behind quantum mechanics and, and cosmology, talking about parallel universes, multiple universes, uh, uh, and the existence again, once again, of the soul and the possibility of the existence of heaven and hell as other universes, as other dimensions. So I'll just get you into, if you want to, go look at Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek Next Generation has a lot about uh, multiple dimensions. Any, any uh, sci-fi that talks about multiple dimensions, uh, that's kind of your ticket to go take a look at this and uh, take a look at that and see how these, can, how these things compare with uh, atheism, which is uh, non-dimensionalistic. It has, it's big, see, atheism is funded on, fund, founded on the principle of deterministic, uh, of deterministic science. Deterministic science says that everything can be known within the human mind and there is, is, there is such a thing as absolute law. Things are absolutely true or absolutely false. Quantum mechanics says you can never determine this. That you can only determine things within a certain degree of probability. And it's also been shown in quantum mechanics that existence can, uh, and, and not, experience cannot be divorced from knowledge. In the deterministic science, everything can, everything can be done with a thought experiment. Almost everything that you think about in terms of a thought experiment could be correct, be absolutely right, and absolutely wrong. In quantum mechanics, in the undeterministic science, uh, this isn't true. You, you, in many cases, the experiment shows you new understandings that theory could never have led you, led you to unless you, unless you actually had that experience. In other words, experience is fundamental. Experimentation is, is fundamental to quantum mechanics. In other words, where before you had the, 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 the two sides of of science, in, in, in deterministic science, you have the, the theorists who work solely with mathematics, and then you have the experimentals who work solely with experiments. Now, in the quantum mechanics, the two have to come together and work together as an integrated unit. Uh, and, 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 and what happens is that the, the entire reason, the, the purpose, of the entire uh, scientific method is fundamentally turned on its head because in quantum mechanics, if there is no determination, there is no certainty in there, only a degree of probability, then your purpose and conclusion disappear and all you have left is method and observation in there. And this is the experimental method. And this is the method that I use, it's the method I've been using now for 20 years. It's purely, it purely an exploration experimental method that uh, sits intertwined with the theory, the, the, the academic knowledge as I push it forward. So I have always have to remember that as I'm doing this, that both the, both the theoretical understanding, the academic understanding, and the uh, ex experience, the experiential understanding, the understanding that I get from experience, has to coexist in the same plane, in the same sphere, in the same universe, in my same... And so, this is, this is something that is, is brand new, and most, uh, even Christian, Christians today, have no understanding of this. Most Christians today, when people talk about Christianity, and they always talk about Christian and religion together, because they primarily look at Christianity as being the evil, the evil religion of the world, uh, even though this is not necessarily true, uh, they don't understand that they're seeing Christianity from a very superficial point of view. Most atheists, when they argue against Christianity, argue against the they argue against a superficial knowledge of Christianity. And this is that, that that the Christianity that most people know about and they talk about, even though they go back to the papacy. The papacy started a thousand years after Christ. Most of the theologies that came out of the papacy started a thousand years after Christ. So the, the Roman Catholic theology. And this is the definition of Roman Catholicism, has 
no fundamental connection to Christ. They're, they're separated by a thousand years. There's a, there's a thousand year gap. And so when any, any, any atheist who always targets, you know, Roman Catholicism and anything that's a derivative of that, that includes Protestantism, Evangelical, uh, the Baptist, all, any, any Christ, all Christian groups today, modern Christian groups today, are a derivative of the Roman Catholicism outgrowth. And, and ironically, so are the atheists. Atheists and socialism are what I call the bastard children of Roman Catholicism. They came out of Roman Catholicism, they were birthed in Roman Catholicism, and emerged as this illegitimate child, the bastard child of uh, of Roman Catholicism, and stayed within this whole deterministic, this whole dogmatic view of the world. The Roman Catholic Church had dogmatic, dogmatic views of of how nature was was created by God as a perfect entity, and the. Uh, the socialists picked this up, and the atheists picked this up, I should say, because uh, atheism came before socialism. The atheists picked this up and said that science was the dogma. God, they simply, all it did is, is remove God from the do Roman Catholic dogma, and that's how you get atheism. Atheism is the Roman Catholic dogma, the Roman Catholic perception of things without God. And that's sort of the whole difference there. And so everything sort of derives from that point there. But you're talking about only going back to 1000 A.D. The church existed, and this is going to be shown in India and in, 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 in the archaeology, well before then. I mean, uh, the monasticism, the, uh, the type of monasticism we see in, uh, in early Christianity, can be traced all the way back to Prophet Elias. It can be traced back into Egypt. It can be traced back into... Uh, you know, the, the desert and stuff like that. There, there's a lot of places, archaeologically, where it can be seen in B.C., and back into the Old Testament. So, when you talk about Christianity, you have to really sort of understand that there is a, a lack of knowledge that most people talk about Christian, Christians with. And this is, this is, what, is what provides a lot of the confusion today, where it says, well, Christian religions need to be more tolerant. Well, the problem is, is that is they're only seeing the, 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 the top point of view. They're only seeing the superficial point of view. They're not seeing how Christians in the first three centuries were persecuted. They are the ones put. To, put a, uh, they were the ones who were being put into the arenas. They are the ones who were being executed solely for their belief. Uh, this was this this was true under the Muslims. Uh, Christians, and these were not European Christians, these were Eastern Christians. These were Christians from Africa, from, from Syria, from uh, Turkey, from India. These people all were attacked by the Muslims. And the Muslims would fundamentally wipe these Christians out. And all you have to do is talk to any Coptic Christian today. The Coptic Christian is an Egyptian Christian. They're from the ancient church. Ask, the Coptic, ask a Coptic Christian, what happened to them in Egypt and what's happened to them now in Egypt? Ask a Syrian Christian what happened to them in Syria under the Muslims and what's happened to them now. Ask a Lebanese Christian and they'll tell you the same thing. Ask a Palestinian Christian and they'll say the same thing. They're being wiped out. There is currently, because Christianity is viewed as a European thing, and the whole Eastern, Europe, Eastern, Eastern Christianity is completely glossed over, the Europeans and the Americans are allowing a Christian genocide in the Middle East right now. And when Barack Obama stood up and said that we have to consider the Muslim world, he basically said that all the Middle East, which wasn't Muslim to begin with, is now fair game for the Muslims to take over and completely have and push the Christians out. And again, these Christians are not European Christians. They were not, it, it was, this is not the European Christian Church which came a thousand years after. This is the original Church of Christ. This is the, the church that was there from 0 AD. It was there from the Roman Empire. And this is the church that's being wiped out. And the thing is, is that people say, when they say, when they say oh, you have to be more tolerant. This concept of tolerance is in complete ignorance to human history and what actually happened in the horrors that happened in human history. And, and but there's not enough time really to sort of get into all of this here. The only way I can sort of sort of give you an 
you know, a background inkling of this is this music that I'm playing is, is for my background. And you know, the reason why I'm, I mean, I'm, play, I'm playing this in my background, I'm not putting any, anything more to the background, because once again, the Europeans are out there uh, under the UN, under the, um, uh, the guise of protecting intellectual property, they're stealing all my culture. And unless, I, unless any music that's based off of this, that's based off the uh, mountain music, that's based off the, uh, the village music, uh, which is most modern music, uh, I can't play it because, well, copyright, you know? But that's but the thing is is that there's a lot of unfairness in society. There's a lot of inhumanity, humanity in society, and it's not restricted to religion. It's not restricted to Christianity. It's all over. And the thing is is that if you want to really solve the problem, you need to take an honest look at it. And some things are going to be right, and some things are going to be wrong. It's that simple. Uh, in, in terms of is being right and wrong, but when you when you look into it and you look at the history of it, that's when it becomes more complex. So, anyways, we'll leave this here for now. This is I'm on my last song. My the warning that I'm running out of time. That the time is up. So I will talk to you uh, hopefully the weekend. Let's see if I can do another follow me vlog. But I don't think it's gonna work. It's follow me vlogs have never really worked so well all week weekend all the weekend. So I'm gonna try to do other things. All right, take it easy. All right, bye bye.